Peggy 3. All right, mate, how you doing? And welcome back to the Play Like a Legend Championships. Today it's time for the grand final preview show because after months of competition, three season finals and more goals than you can shake a tiger's tail at, the grand final is nearly here. Today I'm joined by what is probably my seventh favourite Dave, pro FIFA player Dave Bythewey. We've also got the bingo wheel of destiny, which we're going to be using to draw the groups for the live grand final. We've also got a new guest as well, a Frenchman who goes by the name of Brack, who's an expert on all the things in the European competitive FIFA scene. So I'm sure he'll be adding a certain je ne sais quoi to the proceedings. First up, guys. Grand final, what are you expecting? There's a lot at stake, isn't there? Yeah, there certainly is. The winner's going to be walking away with $7,000, a FIFA 16 legend, and the right to be able to call themselves an ultimate play locker legends champion. On top of that, second place will walk away with $3,500, and third and fourth will get $1,750. Not bad at all. And it's not just the top four that take away a prize, is it, Brack? Yeah, exactly. All the finalists get a copy of FIFA 16 and 12 months subscription to EA Access, which means that they will play FIFA 16 a week early. Everyone's a winner. And speaking of winners, the three players that won our season championships all automatically qualified for the grand final as part of their prize. Those winners are Spencer Ealing, or a huge gorilla. Uh, we've got Brian Savory, or Vitality Brian, and Emilian Talley, or Emmy Boost. So they're all qualified. And uh, before we move on, Brack, I've got to ask you as a Frenchman, two of those guys are French. Why do you think you know, the French are dominating the competitive FIFA scene so much? Because we are the best. Because you're the best. <laughs> Allez le bleu. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Dave, what do you think about that? Well, I'm pretty sure a huge gorilla is going to have something to say about that. Okay, feisty, feisty. Let's move on to the draw now then. We know that uh, groups A, B and C are being headed up by Spencer, Brian and uh, Emilian as well, Emmy Boost. Uh, group D is going to be headed up by Ty, who was a consistently good performer in the tournaments we played. Okay, so on with the draw. We've taken out balls one, two, three and four because obviously they're already in the groups. Brack, if you'd like to do the honours and take the first ball out, please. Yes. Okay, here we go. Number 10. Number 10. Okay, that is Marlott from Germany. He's going to be joining a huge gorilla in Group A. So we go with another person from Group A, please, Brack. Number 8. Number 8. That is Vincente62, a Frenchman. You know about him. He's going to be in Group A with huge gorilla and Marlott. One more person for Group A, please. Number 5. Number five, that is Tom Stokes of England. So we've got a couple of English guys, a Frenchman and a German in Group A. First impressions, Dave? It's a very tough group. I mean, we've got Tom Stokes. He's new to Ultimate Team, but he's now a stranger to the competitive FIFA scene. We've got Marlott, who he got to the semi-final in Season 3. So he's definitely going to be a dangerous player. And what about Vincent62? You must know about him being a Frenchman. Yes, I know, I know about him and uh, he's a young player. Uh, third time uh, qualified for the Play Like a Legend, getting more and more experience. So I think uh, maybe this, this time could be a, a great time for him. And of course we've got Huge Gorilla in there as well, who's one of the most exciting players to watch, scores goals for fun. So I'm sure a lot of those guys won't be happy they're in his group. Okay, let's move on. Let's find out who's going to be joining Vitality Brian in Group B. Brack, if you please. Number six. Number six, okay, that's going to be Tass, another English player. He's going to be alongside Brian. Let's go for another one, please. Number 11. Number 11 is Ace Paps, okay. Ace Paps and Tass with Brian. One more player. Number nine. Number nine is XL Giggsy. So that's Group B done. We've got our players. Dave, what's your first impressions? That's going to be a very exciting group. We've got Ace Paps, who's a newcomer, and he's in a group with three people who've been here before, so that's already going to be very hard for him. Then we've got Tass, and he's always expected to do really well in these tournaments, but so far he's been a disappointment, so he's got a lot to prove. Definitely, and obviously we've got Vitality Brian in there. He's a former winner. He won season two. Can he win this one? It will be a, a real test for him. Uh, we all know that Brian is a strong player, but with Tass and Gigze, I think um, it will be hard for him to get out without any harm, so we'll see, but uh, I'm confident with him. Okay, definitely another exciting group. Let's go to Group C, please, if you do the honours. Number 13. Number 13 is Aggie Rosenmeier, so a uh, Danish player. He's going to be joining Emmy Boost. Already that's a pretty competitive group. Let's go with another one. Number 7. Number seven, that is Epsilon Rocky. Okay, this is an interesting group, Group C. One more name to come. 
Number 15. 15, that is Pablo Wocci, that's our Polish player, completing what is a very competitive group, Dave. Yeah, there's one big name in there, and that's August Rosemeyer. He's a world champion, he's won multiple national championships, and he's definitely going to be one to watch. And Brack, what about Emmy Boost? He's a season three champion, but he could struggle to get out of the group here, couldn't he? Yes, I think uh, with his uh, victory on the last season, he will be with the strength, you know? So I think he, he has a, a real chance, but uh, like uh, Dave said, there is uh, August Rosenmeyer with, I don't know what, uh, what is his strength on the Ultimate Team, so I will look forward to, to see what uh, Amy can, can do. Yeah, definitely going to be an interesting group. Pablo Wocci, the Polish player, maybe going to struggle to get out of that group on his first ever appearance at the Play Like a Legend Championships. Group D kind of takes care of itself now. The three remaining names, we can see who they are on the screen. We've got Graham in there, who's done well in, in previous tournaments. We've also got Dr. Ihano and Kay Vega. So, Dave, first off, what do you think of Group D? Another hard group. We've got Graham, who he's a very good player, but he's got an external strength as well. He's extremely emotional. He's very loud in the booth, and that's going to be hard to play against. Extremely emotional yeah. sounds like he's going to burst out in tears yeah. or something. Look, yeah, I know what you mean, though. Yeah. He's, he, he reacts, doesn't yeah. he? He actually celebrates when he scores, and it's quite hard to play against him for that reason. And we've got a Frenchman in there, of course. There's always at least one of them somewhere, isn't there? <laughs> uh, Kay Vega, what do you know about him? Yeah, I don't know much about him, but... Uh, like you say, there, there is always a French guy everywhere in each group, so it confirmed what I said to you, we are the best. We'll see if he gets out of the group, <laughs> of course. Dr. Ohano was someone that I tipped to win uh, the last tournament. On Dave's advice, I should say, he gave me a dodgy tip and I obviously cursed him, but we'll see how we can get on this time. So, there you go. That is the draw for the Play Like a Legend Championships Grand Final. It's going to be happening here on the 22nd and 23rd of August at the Gfinity Arena in London. You can join us, get yourself some tickets at gfinity.net forward slash legends. You can see all the action unfold before your very eyes. Now then, it's the prediction time. My favourite part of the show. You're going to put your neck on the line. I've not necessarily had the best history at this point in the show, so I'll let you guys go first. Brack, who's your prediction to win the entire thing and become the champion of champions? I think uh, it could be Brian because uh, he's the most consistent French player. I think he has a, a real chance to, to win this. OK, no surprise Brack's going with a Frenchman. Dave, who are you going for? I'm going to go with August Rosenmeyer. He's new to this tournament, but he's won so much in the past, just can't look past him. OK, so Dave is tipping the great day, and I'm sure you're all desperate to know who I'm going to go with, or who I'm going to curse, I should say. And I'm going to go with Spencer, a huge gorilla. I think he's going to bring it home for the Brits. But we'll find out in a few days who does win it. Thank you, Dave and Brack, for joining us. It's uh, much appreciated, as always. And if you guys can't join us live for the uh, final, you can watch us on stream at twitch.tv forward slash GFinityTV. We'll be streaming all weekend. But until the final, I'll see you when you're older. Don't go changing.